Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Callum Fletcher, and I'm, a I'm the biosecurity coordinator at, at Auschwitz. And um, I'm very happy to, to be speaking to you today, and especially after Rowan's uh, talk, because what I'm going to talk about it will um, relate to a lot of the work that uh, he and, and, and Jenny's team have done. My role is working on vegetables and potatoes um, biosecurity, working in the biosecurity program, which is funded by Plant Health Australia. Uh, and it focuses primarily on exotic and endemic pests that, um, and pests and diseases that are impacting the vegetable industries. Today I'll be speaking about how some PBCRC projects um, have contributed to develop the development of a national cross-industry um, active pest surveillance network. Um, during the last quarter of 2016, myself and Jessica Lai, who is the uh, Osbeach Science and Extension Manager, um, with a little bit of prompting from Sally Troy, um, worked uh, with seven different um, plant research development corporations and, and partners such as CSIRO, universities and state government agencies, to secure funding for iScout, um, Sentinel Surveillance Systems for Agriculture. Uh, this project um, it was funded through the Commonwealth um, of Australia's Rural Research and Development for Profit program. So during the development of the, pro uh, the project proposal, I worked with a number of researchers who were involved in uh, PBCRC funded projects and came to work out that um, and some of their work um, that they were doing um, had, has, will be used as a reference today to help inform the shape of the system that we what we actually in the end came up with. So um, I'm not currently part of this um, ongoing work being done um, on this project. Um, I'm just speaking here in my capacity as one of those project um, proposal authors uh, um, and to show and illustrate how PBCRC projects have impacted on the design uh, and construction of a rather significant cross-industry uh, surveillance program. Um, on 20 May um, 2017, the Federal Minister uh, for Agriculture and Water Resources announced that uh, a federal grant, um, government grant was uh, for co-investment funding to deliver 20 million, 21 million uh, uh, dollars in plant uh, biosecurity and industrial in, uh, industry surveillance project. So um, iScout, uh, Sentinel Surveillance Systems for Agriculture, will provide the foundation for a national, nationwide plant surveillance network to monitor and report the presence of pests and diseases that threaten major agricultural sectors across Australia. Um, the Rural R&D for Profit grant is a plant pest surveillance project funded through the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources. It proposes to um, pr uh, improve plant pest management through cross-industry development of smart sensors, as Rowan's been working, talking about, diagnostics, um, which we'll get to, but that's primarily with um, the work that Brendan Radoni has been doing, um, and, and forecasting, uh, the work that um, CSIRO has been working on to support a continued innovation in Australia's uh, plant, uh, primary plant in industries. Um, so the research agreement began, um, commenced on February uh, 2018. And finishes. Okay, um, this is a project, uh, is the initiative of a number of project partners in collaboration with the Commonwealth Government. Uh, the partnership is led by Hort Innovation uh, through Jessica Holliday, who cannot be here today, but she will be here tomorrow. So I'd welcome you to, to make yourself known to her and she can talk to you. Um, she's the R&D coordinator. And um, it also includes six other RDCs. Um, so we have uh, grains, sugar, viticulture, through Wine of Australia, cotton, CRDC, uh, forestry, and um, new and emerging uh, industries, agri-futures. Um, this is the first time that all seven plant RDCs have come together and to collectively work on, on a research program, and as such, it squarely aligns with the newly established Plant Biosecurity Research Initiative. Um, PERI um, is a partnership between the nation's RDCs, working collaboratively with Plant Health Australia, DOOR, and state and federal biosecurity stakeholders uh, to coordinate funding for research uh, and development, deliver vital projects, and attract further co-investment across uh, 
plant biosecurity domain. So, yeah. Other project partners um, that have committed funding to this um, or in-kind support um, uh, to this project include the Department of Primary Industries, um, DPRD, uh, formerly, formerly known as DEFWA, um, the South Australian Research Development uh, Institute, SARDI, AGVIC, uh, CSIRO, as I mentioned before, um, Department of Agriculture and Water Th Resources through uh, NARCS, uh, Northern Australian Quarantine Strategy, um, Plant Health Australia, um, OSVEG, and the international partners that um, Rowan mentioned, Burkhardt Manufacturing and Rothamsted Research, along with uh, some Kiwis involved in Better Border Biosecurity, or B3. So you've seen some of these photos, so I won't dwell on it too much. Um, my background is working on uh, pest surveillance uh, in New Zealand, uh, including previously working with David Toulon from B3. Um, on, suction, on the suction trap network that we had over there um, while I worked at Plant and Food Research. Um, meeting with Rowan Kimber and his team in Adelaide and seeing the work that they were doing through PBCRC 2014, 2014, you know, new tools for grains, field grain surveillance and diagnostics of high priority sort of pests. Um, we recognise the value um, that active surveillance has had to industry and government. You know, it's especially the case in regards to suction trap networks, which have been extensively used, you know, not just in New Zealand, but you know, through Rothamsted in the UK. The USA has a whole bunch of them running through their Midwestern states and Eastern states, South Africa, China, and of course, Europe has, has many um, suction trap networks combined uh, over there. Um, so they've been used in the past, and as Rowan pointed out, to detect the arrival, arrival and movement of not just endemic pests, but also exotic pests. Um, we have definitely, back in New Zealand, we definitely found new aphid species as, as or near when they arrived, and we were able to trace back the arrival of uh, tomato potato psyllid as well um, before, you know, uh, by going back through plant samples. Um, insect suction tracks um, prototypes from Burkhart Manufacturing, the uh, co compact aphid suction traps, the, the uh, smart insect traps and the jet swore samplers were developed or modified under this uh, uh, BPBCRC 2014 program um, and they may play a part in the flexi hub concept that we are, this project is, is developing uh, and pr will make, basically make up the core of the surveillance component of this system. Uh, another project that has um, influenced the work that we um, have done um, earlier this year, I uh, worked with Crop and Food Research, wow, <laughs> that's quick, uh, just, uh, to basically um, I used to work at Crop and Food and we worked on current letter safe moving from uh, New Zealand to Tasmania through wind currents. Now this work's been um, taken on by John Weiss, Carla Finlay, Les Seller and, 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 and worked um, with, with these um, zealot traps. So basically um, these zealot traps uh, have the potential to be placed uh, at a distance from these hubs uh, uh, and used for spatial um, resolution uh, to, to verify the, the trap catches. So, yep, that's one part. Another part we have is the Ozpest check, Nick Woods is over here, um, and that was developed uh, from a Landcare uh, Innovation Grant, but, um, you know, worked into his, his project um, 2013, Extending Biosecurity Preparedness and Surveillance Strategies. Um, so the information that's gonna come from these traps will be um, fed into the Ozpest network, Move on here. Uh, the work that Darren Criticos and Dean Paini and his team, their teams at CSIRO have done um, have in developing the prediction software, uh, including Tuppers, um, has been important. Has been an important component of this project. So, this is the kind of uh, prediction maps that we are looking at gaining uh, using as part of the information coming in from these hubs. Um, diagnostics, of course, are going to be done by potentially it's been informed by the work that Brendan Radoni and also the real-time uh, multiplex qPCR work done, done at SADI, uh, providing uh, trap identification um, 
rather than relying on purely morphological ID. Here's the same visualization about how the information coming in from the traps will inform um, quantitative information about pest presence. So this is uh, a draft of how the plan is, is going to work out. And if you uh, are interested in, in answering any more questions, we have the two communications people part of this, uh, Nikita and Lisa over there, waving their hands. So I'm sure they would love to answer any of your questions. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for, for um, having me, and I appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs>